Hi, this is William. In this video, we are going to learn a lesson on 3 to 1 principle. We all know that 3 to 1 principle is very important in mechanical engineering. What is 3 to 1 principle? While working on any part, the big concern is locating that part to be machined, punched, bent, etc. Hence, for locating any part, 3 to 1 principle comes in exist. So, what is 3 to 1 principle? 3 to 1 principle is used for locating a part. So how 3 to 1 principle is used that we are going to see further. But before that we should know how many degrees of freedom are there for a part. As I have mentioned here there are 6 degrees of freedom, 3 translation and 3 rotation. Some people consider 12 degrees of freedom, some consider 6 degrees of freedom. In 12 degrees of freedom there are 6 translation and 6 rotation. In translation they consider negative and positive coordinates and in rotation they consider clockwise and anti-clockwise coordinates so totally there are 12 degrees of freedom by considering its positive negative clockwise and anti-clockwise coordinates but here in six degrees of freedom we just consider three translation that two in x y and z and three rotation that two in x y z so totally 6 degrees of freedom are considered as a standard degrees of freedom. The locating process by 3 to 1 method. We have two main objectives when mounting a part in a fixture for machining. The first objective is accurate position the part at desired coordinates. Suppose you have coordinates that x is equal to 0, y is in 5 and z is in 10. So at this coordinate you have to position the part accurately. And second objective is restrict all six degrees of freedom so that part cannot move. To achieve these two objectives, we use 3 to 1 principle. Now in 3 to 1 principle, there are three steps and three mutually perpendicular planes are used as shown in this image. You can see this is one plane, this is the second plane and this is the third plane. These three planes are perpendicular to each other and these three planes are also called datum planes. You can see here it is called datum planes. Now datum is another topic and there will be another video on datums. So I request you all to subscribe this channel so that you can get the notification whenever we release a new video and you can learn a new lesson. Now coming back to the point, these three planes define the position of the workpiece and also fully constrain the part. This is very important. These three planes define the position of workpiece and then they fully constrain the part. So what are these three planes? It is primary plane, secondary plane and territory plane. When we constrain the primary plane, it locks two rotational degrees of freedom and one translation. When we constrain the secondary plane, it locks one translation and one rotation and when we constrain the third degree of freedom it locks the final translation so if you see when we lock the primary plane it locks totally three degrees of freedom two rotation and one translation means it totally locks three degrees of freedom when we constrain the secondary plane it locks two degrees of freedom and when we lock the final plane it locks one degree of freedom the final translation that means it is three two one method so how this locking takes place how we constrain the plane that we are going to see by an example you can see here a rectangular block in a space and these two lines are the directions so this direction we will consider as x direction x translation and x rotation here this direction we will consider it as a y translation in y and rotation in y and this one we will consider as z translation in z and rotation in z so now what we are going to do is we have to lock its six degrees of freedom of this block okay we want to lock six degrees of freedom of this block by using three to one principle so with use of three to one principle first we have to define the primary plane now while defining the primary plane first thing we have to understand is which is the biggest surface of this block we can see this top face is the biggest surface similarly the bottom face is the biggest surface so the biggest surface should be selected as the primary face or primary plane so i'll consider this as the primary plane Okay, 
now when i'm considering this as a primary plane you can see this part cannot move up means here the translation of z is locked so i'm circling this translation of z is locked similarly this part cannot rotate here in x because this face is locked now bottom face is locked so rotation in x is locked similarly part cannot rotate in y you can see this face is locked so it cannot rotate in y so rotation of y direction is also locked now we have to define its secondary plane so the tip of the secondary plane is it should be perpendicular to the primary plane so we can take this side also this side but the second tip is again it should be the largest face compared to the both sides so we can see this face is the largest similarly the opposite so we will consider this face <clears throat> so this is the secondary plane now we can see the translation in y direction is locked as this face is now we have constrained this face so translation in y direction is locked so i am circling this point now also the rotation in z is locked you can you can see this this face is completely locked so it cannot rotate in this direction it cannot rotate in this direction so rotation in z is locked now the time is we have to put the third plane so i am considering this as the third plane and then we can see the translation in x is locked so now when we summarize this when we use the first plane we locked one translation and two rotations when we use the second plane we locked one translation that also in y direction and one rotation that in z direction and when we use the third plane we lock the final translation so in this way the 3 to 1 principle is used if you like this video hit a like button and subscribe to my channel so that whenever a new video is uploaded you will get a new notification and you all can learn a new lesson thank you very much for watching